Marcel, we spoke prior to the season. You had a, a new livery for your helmet with William Tell. A bit of, uh, I guess, that strength and power. Brother, that drive to finish the race was all about strength and power. Tell me about it. Yeah, thank you first. That uh, was a really great, uh, great battle uh, all through the stints with Neil. Uh, already in the beginning of my first stint, we were uh, that one which we were battling the whole time. Once he was in the front, uh, then I couldn't overtake again on the brakes, but then he passed me again on the straight line and I try everything to stay in front because I knew if I can stay in front, then I can keep it. But uh, yeah, they were too fast on the straight, so we were battling the whole stint through and it was actually it was really exciting race for, for me. I, I really enjoy every lap uh, because it was also a very fair fight between Neil. Uh, he gave me the room. I, I let him the room as well to survive. I think this was uh, what motorsports needs. Uh, I think that was really, really enjoyable. And in the end, I was, I can say, pretty happy to have this victory with my team and my team teammates, which also did an absolutely great job. A six hour race. It felt like six hours of qualifying laps. When you weren't in the car, I'm sure you're watching. Tell me about just how crazy this event was. It was the most attacking P1 event I can remember. Yeah, for, it, it looks like the, we all are quite similar on lap times, but everyone has a little bit of advantage somewhere. So uh, you try to use your advantage to pass. And uh, actually, what uh, yeah, it was like qualifying each lap, that's for sure. And you really have to to calculate the traffic as well, because as soon as you, you're too close in a fast corners behind the GT, you lose all the momentum. So also you need to think or to look quite, quite uh, long and uh, to, to know uh, what you're going to do. Last question for you. Last year, a bit of a slow start for Audi, heading into Le Mans. Le Mans turned out well. How are you feeling about a, a fast start to 2015 for the team? Yeah, I think uh, already last year we show here that uh, we had the potential to win, but uh, for sure after the last year's end of season races, we are pretty happy to be back now on pole position. I think it's uh, it actually for everyone in the team a great, um, um, a pleasing actually to know that we did, we have done a really great job over the winter. Everyone was pushing like hell and to know now, even with the four maker two class that we can win races in normal circumstances, I think this is really great for everyone and we're pretty happy but st st still we have to know season will be long and tough and uh, it's it's the first race and there's some seven more coming but i think it will be exciting uh, all through the season so i think it's good for the spectators and everyone mark we saw great potential from the porsche team today some incredible pace early in the race not the final result you wanted but i'm guessing you're feeling fairly pleased about the demonstration in general yeah, I would say that we, uh, if we would have discussed uh, getting P2 at the end of the weekend, we would have uh, accepted it right at the beginning. Uh, it was definitely, we knew it, Silverstone is not our circuit, which suits us perfectly. But at the end, you know, managing P2 after this close battle of racing, uh, we can be really happy. And uh, we have to say the Audi boys were just better today. They were just a tiny little bit faster. So uh, that's what we have to work on for next race. As someone with a, uh, an engineering background like yourself, are you able to appreciate that three manufacturers just spent six months and I don't know how much money coming up with crazy ideas to beat each other, yet the race was so close? That to me was also fairly crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's, we saw that already last year, you know, coming from three different um, hybrid strategies, three different uh, manufacturers with three different ideas and uh, battling it out on the, on the racetrack, um, it's just amazing, fascinating racing stuff. I think it was proper motorsport today, uh, lots of uh, position changes and uh, great battles out there. That's how racing should be. And uh, you, you could see today, that's an example that manufacturer sport can work and uh, that fans can be happy that to see these cars on track and this, the drivers battling it out. It was just awesome today. I'm guessing that Spa can get here fast enough for you guys to hopefully put up uh, a win before Le Mans? Well, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the goal for sure. I mean, Spa suited us last year. We got our first pole position there. I uh, had a good speed in the first stint, and uh, we're really looking forward to Spa. Uh, it's one of the best circuits on the, on the calendar uh, with long straights, which su should, su uh, should suit us as well. So, yeah, really looking forward to that one. And what do you take away from Silverstone today? Obviously, you'd rather be smelling of champagne from standing atop the podium, but uh, do you take anything positive or negative away today? I take away the third place trophy, and that ain't good enough. 
yeah, we uh, we struggled today. Um, we tried the best we could. We gave it everything. Uh, all three drivers, Kazuki, Sebastian, me, we, we pushed the whole way. Um, even took risks in strategy um, that paid off with the double stint on the tyres. Um, that kept us in the fight. Without that, we wouldn't have been in it at all. So, um, yeah, pretty much what we expected based on testing times from the prologue and, and uh, testing here before the, the main event. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we're not surprised to be uh, not fighting for the victory, but um, in a way, yeah, it's, it's kind of damage limitation to get third today. And, uh, yeah, you, I don't know for the next tracks coming up, but it's pretty clear that we've lost our advantage from last year. It also said a little bit of chassis imbalance had something to do with a little bit of lack of pace compared to a lack of overall capability. Well, we struggled here last year, and traditionally this hasn't been a great track for us, and we kind of lucked into winning the race last year uh, with the help of some wet weather, which took the Audis out of the race. Um, I feel they would have been faster, well, they were faster in dry conditions, but only just last year. Um, this year they were about a good five or six tenths a lap faster. Um, so it's, it's clear they've made progress, and um, you know that's that's pretty worrying for the rest of the rest of the season ahead. So um, hopefully we'll have some strong races and uh, tracks that we've always gone well at, like Shanghai, Fuji. Uh, perhaps the Nurburgring will be a good a, a kind track for us, and Bahrain as well. Um, but. It feels like that's what we're kind of relying on now. Um, so, uh, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens.